Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Welcome back. Do you like uh, a rainy night like any rabbit? We certainly have that uh, ongoing out there. The steady the rain, steadiest of the rain, though, will slowly start to taper off uh, to just some sprinkles. But the other concern that we have tonight, some patchy, dense fog uh, with uh, the potential for reduced visibility. So I think that's going to be around into tomorrow morning. You can see downtown uh, visibility still okay, but some of the higher elevations, the hilltops, we'll have to deal with some of that patchy, dense fog uh, into the day tomorrow. So the steadier rain continuing to move through, uh, probably up to, well, most likely up to like a half an inch of rain. So that's like manageable, uh, but you know, some of those smaller creeks and streams may rise a bit. And then we get into another round of rain coming up tomorrow, late in the day, and then into Friday morning. During the day, probably not much going on. Again, watch out for those areas of dense fog. And we actually have uh, advisories posted for that potential tonight. So that's the gray color that you see here. Dense fog advisory for Oneida, Madison, and Otsego uh, County. Up north, we're dealing with a little bit of uh, wintry weather. So we still have winter weather advisories, uh, a little bit of sleet and freezing rain way up in the high peaks and also up near the St. Lawrence Seaway, really getting icy tonight. See that pink area right there along the St. Lawrence uh, will be an issue for us just dealing with the rain. So we go out a little bit wider here and we'll show you it's kind of this corridor of wet weather down from the Gulf all the way up through the Ohio Valley and then right over us. So we're going to be in this steady rain for a little while longer. Eventually it tapers off and then through the day tomorrow, it's just clousy, drizzable. All of those words are made up. Um, but yeah, you get the picture, just kind of murky, drab, dull, uh, cloudy sky. It at least temperatures will be in the 40s. There's that. Uh, then we go into tomorrow night, like I said, another round of rain rolls in to central New York. That's going to be around through Friday morning. In terms of how much, again, the amounts will be fairly manageable. So we're only talking like a quarter to two tenths. Uh, a few areas may get upwards of uh, a half an inch of snow. So widespread major flooding, not a concern, but those smaller tributaries, creeks and streams, might see a little bit of a rise there. Temperatures tonight go absolutely nowhere as the steadiest of the rain tapers. Watch for some dense fog developing. Through the day tomorrow, it's just murky. It's mild though. Areas of fog and drizzle taper and then it's mainly dry before another round rain arrives by late in the day into tomorrow night and Friday morning. Rain tapers Friday. Still mild, mid 40s. Then we go into Saturday, same old gray sky, but I think mainly dry. Watching an interesting system here Sunday, it will probably start as rain or mix, but then what happens is they're gonna drag in colder air by late in the day Sunday. So this will probably change to a period of wet accumulating snow, at least a modest accumulation, especially higher elevations south on Sunday. We'll keep you posted. And then we start to get cold again into at least early next week. Uh, before temperatures moderate somewhat uh, by Wednesday. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Craig. Mm -hmm. Still to come on Eyewitness News at 11, Governor Kathy Hochul spoke at Planned Parenthood's Day of Action in Albany this morning. Our Capitol correspondent, Jamie DeLine, reports when we come back.